Oh, um, speaking of lightheaded and sleepy, I got the second dose of my vaccine today, so I am fully vaccinated. Which I think is really fun and cool. And uh, don't at me or whatever, or you can at me, I don't care. Anybody there? No. Maybe. Aaron! Hey! Oh. All right. Now. What did they change, if they changed anything, from the original to this version? Is there still a bunch of shit I have to grab before I can come back here and it's like a 10 years? So a lot of this stuff is once you get all of the primers, you come back and do New Game Plus and you understand sort of what it's saying. Okay. I think. sound no music type thing that said I think the OST in this game is one of the best of the series Have a previous Final Fantasy save. This is where you like load. If you have the, if you're playing the game for a second time and you load your Abed dictionary, you can load it in from right here. It's a compilation sphere. So they kind of reward you a little bit by playing the game a second time through, especially if you went through and got all the Abed. Uh, all the runes and got all the language unlocked. Which, man, unlocking languages is definitely a problem for me in games. Um, I don't know if you guys have played No Man's Sky, but I've been playing it a lot lately. They just released the uh, Expeditions pack. Um, I have spent, okay, I was already up there. I have spent so much time in that game just literally running around. Why is he running now? Literally, look at this, look at that bug. That's a weird bug, right? <laughs> so apparently, you can just run through the water now. 
This is what being a Blitzball player gets you. Haha. -ha. Um. Yeah, that's how water works. Bet you if I go back down, it's swimming. Yep, swimming again. If I can reproduce it. Yeah. Okay. But, um... What was I saying? I completely lost my thought. My languages. Yes. Languages. Um, I spend so much time in No Man's Sky, like, going around and collecting languages that um, it ends up being, like, I end up unlocking a lot of the language that for, for a given, you know, star system or a given race um, before I even leave the first system. And it's like, I spend too much time doing it. Uh, and I found out the other day, because I was watching some people, some streamers play the game, and I was I found out the other day that, like, there are people who just leave a star system before exploring every planet or unlocking all the language that they can or talking to every NPC, and I'm just like... That causes m me very much anxiety. Please do all the things before you move on. There's... And then it's like, then I, you know, they're all like, oh, but like, there are literally billions and billions of planets and star systems. Why would you spend your time in one? Just go and search as many as you can. And like, like, I'm just like, what? You, you, you don't know. I have to do all the things. Hey, y'all. Thanks for catching my Final Fantasy X playthrough. If you like what you see, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. If you want to catch me live, I'm on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 6 to 11 p.m. Central. Links are in the description down below. Enjoy. Oh, it's the big bad. The guy that wants to eat me. Cool. Underwater fight time. A mechanic we invented for this game. There's literally only a few people who can fight underwater. God, that, oh, that music is so good. so much. I completely forgot that you can swap out armors and weapons in this game. Okay, so he's hitting me for half each time. Yeah, I completely forgot you can swap out armors and weapons in this game freely on your turn. It's kind of cool, actually. Barely escaped. 
but also escaped. <laughs> go back that way. Fairly certain that I missed something. I had made it out of the frying pan and into the freezer. I thought I was going to die in this place. Okay. Check something. Scary. Oh, man. That thing weighs like a thousand pounds. How strong is he? Cold. Need. Fire. Withered bucket. Yeah, you guys can stop yelling at me about the one that I missed. <laughs> gorgeous. It's a fantastic looking game. <laughs> Just a creepy statue. Should be good enough to like put this stuff down and create a fire out of it.
This game really is gorgeous. I think the art direction in this game went the right direct went the right way. Food. A lot of people, you know, what do you want? There's a lot of things that happen in this game that people misinterpret, and it was um, a bad call. it's the first time that they've done voice acting in a Final Fantasy. So a lot that. of times people poke fun at that, but honestly, I think the five voice acting is actually pretty good. It's been ten years. <sighs> I thought, I thought you'd be crying. Who? Me? You cried. Oh yeah, I forgot the whole trauma of a bullshit dad. This Give thing's me a break. Bug. Oof, that hurt. Not as hurt as that. Right. So this is this is great. You can like what's great about this strategy, this type of RPG is that everything is based on a like every, obviously there is sort of speed, and the speed step get, lets you go more and more every time. But what's great about the this system is that you can the battle system can be as fast as you want it to be, right? Um, because it stops, I can literally just get up and walk away from this and come back to it, and it'll be in the same space before. Whereas in like Final Fantasy XII, like I have to pause the game, right? Um, because that game is in real time and it works in real time. Um, I love Final Fantasy XII, don't get me wrong, I think it's a fantastic game. Uh, it's just different, right? I gotta tell you, Krieger! Hey man, thank you so much for the raid, dude. Do not know why my stream elements is doing that twice, but anyway, I'll fix that later. Anyway, hey Krieger, how's it going? Welcome. How you guys doing? Welcome to the stream. We are playing Final Fantasy X. Uh, this is the first time that I've played it in like over a decade. So I was just talking about how I can just sit at this screen and not have to do anything because it's a turn-based RPG that uses a, uh, you know, system like this. Hey, uh, Krieger, did you guys uh, get any uh, good games in today? Are you guys... Uh um, I know it's getting late for you over there. Did you uh, did you get any really good games in it? Hey Cosmo, thanks for the follow, dude. That's fantastic. Two wins for the crew. Kick butt, man. You on my side? Cool. That's awesome, dude. Feels good to end the night on a good thing. Did you guys end on a win? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, you stick around. If Final Fantasy is one of your favorite series, then you stick around. I'm going to play all of them, so. 
Not tonight, obviously. That would be insane. But, um, yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna play through every one of them, man. I just, um, I've almost finished 12. I think we're gonna, we're gonna do the Dread, Dreadnought Leviathan on Friday. So, 12 will be basically done. I'm gonna do a lot of the other hunts, but I'm gonna do that after I grind a bunch in that game. So, we're gonna be doing the, uh, the Yizamat hunt and all the other cool, like, high-end hunts after I get a little bit of grinding on. It's like, I'm level 60, everybody, right now, so it shouldn't be that much. But yeah, we're gonna start playing this. Um... We're doing uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 1 on Mondays right now. Um, but I might start doing... I might start doing some split streams where I'm basically doing like two, three hours of Xenoblade Chronicles and then switching over to Final Fantasy X and then... That was close. ...going to... Um, oh. Hey, let me go. Yes, so this is the, the HD version. I'm playing on the PS5. Let's see. She straight need you in the balls, dude. <laughs> All right. Wake up. Kid, it's die job. Hey, that hurts. Musujek, rain. Whoa. Okay. Kainis. Right. Whatever. Tui hood kabeg. I said I don't understand. Fed! You said you can stay if you make yourself useful. You... you understand me? All right, I'll work. <laughs> make yourself useful, they say. Join the army, they said. See the world, they said. I'd rather be sailing. All right, got the first Albed primer. Save. All right. Oh, almost forgot. Using the sphere grid. Hear that sphere grid music, guys? That's... Yep. Okay. Cursor appears selected. Character cursor. Use the buttons to move around. Defense grids, ability grids. It's called nodes. Character must move near a node in order to activate it. Let's go through this step by step really need to but we'll do it just for sake you know because like uh, this is going to go on YouTube so let's show it off cursor returns to the character's position and list commands up here select move to display a number of steps the character can move the number of steps the characters can move is equivalent to his S level sphere level S levels are gained by AP which are obtained by participating in battles 
characters must fight battles to gain AP and obtain S level, which are then in turn used to move around the grid in short. If characters do not participate in battles, they will not grow stronger. Weird concept, right? In this case, Titus has four S levels, so he can move up to four steps. In general, you should face, you should be careful not to move too fast as you may forget to activate nodes you pass over. So let's take one step and to learn the ability cheer. Note that you do not have to be at a node in order to activate it. You can do it from an adjacent node as well. By selecting a destination, S level is spent and the character will move. When the character arrives at that designated spot, you will be asked for the final confirmation. This destination is correct, select yes. Hey, what kind of tea? Yes, yeah, so this is the HD, this is the, the like HD remake, uh, remaster or whatever. I'm, I'm playing on PS5. If the destination is correct, select yes. If you want to activate nodes you pressed over, you passed over, you must spend SP to go back. When you're retracing your steps, you can move four steps by spending one S level. However, going back every time is not a very cost efficient. Always plan ahead to avoid wasting S level. Now, since the character is in a position, let's activate a node. To activate nodes, you must use spheres. Spheres are items that can be attained by various means, but mainly by defeating enemies. Press X. Select Use. A list of spheres currently in stock will be displayed. Every sphere has a special function. For example, power spheres are used to activate strength, defense, and HP nodes. Ability spheres activate ability nodes. 10 a.m. So let's, let's see, it is currently seven. Does that mean it's like 12 where you are, Krieger? Or is it different? I'm trying to remember how far ahead you are. I can't remember. 1 a.m., right. So you're, you're plus one GMT, right? Because I'm minus five or minus six, I think, right now. I think it's minus five. <laughs> All right, nodes that can be deactivated are the node at the character's current position and nodes directly adjacent to it. This means nodes that are one step behind or ahead can be activated. In this example, the only node that can be activated is an ability node, so only ability spheres can be used. When you select a sphere, the node that can be activated there will be in the positions are highlighted. Ability spheres have been selected here, so only the ability node will glow. By selecting the node you want, it will activate and the character will learn the ability. Note that one ability sphere was used during this process. Use the same procedure to improve the character's strength, magic, max HP, and MP, etc. Power spheres, magic spheres, and speed spheres are needed to improve each of the corresponding stats. Also, every node on the grid can be activated separately by each character. This means that a character can reactivate a node already used by another character by moving to it and activating the corresponding sphere. Note that locks cannot be opened at present. Another tutorial will become available once you're able to unlock them. Now that you know how to upgrade your characters, let's look at the useful features of the spear grid. Character's current status can be displayed by pressing triangle. Using this information to plan how you wish to upgrade your characters. Press L and R to switch between characters. This is useful when you wish to compare the character's stats or when you wish to quickly upgrade multiple characters. Press the 
pad button to zoom in and out for a better view of the grid. This concludes the spear grid tutorial. Try improving Titus now. You like my setup? That's fantastic. Thank you very much. I put a lot of time and effort into it, so I really appreciate you telling me that. That's amazing. So let's actually go to the sphere grid and do some stuff. All right, so Titus can move. We're actually can only move up. Move to this location, yes. Okay. I used to uh, I used to play Fortnite a long time ago. I did not do the um, the multiplayer so much. I played a little bit of the Battle Royale version, but I played a lot of the sort of save the world version of Fortnite for a long time. Um, I am not good brain. I don't have brain. Uh, I don't have brain build. I can't build brain. I can't do that. There are people who are so good especially on PC of like having their binds and everything where they're just constantly building crazily. I think it's so fascinating to watch, but I, I can't, my brain doesn't process that. So, uh, 